Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 21st, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to some crazy video footage here of some cleanups that are underway in Newfoundland after a state of emergency. After more than 80 centimeters of snow fell in Newfoundland, That's right, state of emergency for the Atlantic provinces, mostly Newfoundland, as that intense weather bomb inundated the whole island with 80 centimeters of snow. Some pretty amazing images here. Snow plow in looks to be about seven, eight feet of snow here. Unbelievable. And these atmospheric compression events are going to start to happen more frequently, which they already are, and on a larger scale. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Our world is changing drastically. Florida is set to receive some freezing temperatures. So much going on in our world. I appreciate and thank all of you for tuning in and watching Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Something else I wanted to show you here from one extreme to the next. Looking at NOAA satellite imagery here of the fires from Australia. And you can see the smoke it totally encompassed the southern hemisphere. Crazy stuff. Looking at our sun, we have one small fizzling sunspot to talk about. No coronal holes. So not much to talk about with our sun. Small plasma rip off the southwestern limb there. Let's get to earthquakes here for the last 24 hours as it has been very busy. Starting out here in Costa Rica as they had a 5.0 and a 5.3 overnight. And as well the 4.8 in Panama, 4.8 in Mexico. So very busy uh, Central America as well. That earthquake swarm still going on in the Dominican. And look at all these earthquakes across the United States and Canada. Tennessee with a 3.8. Oklahoma 2.6. And moving towards the Canadian border 3.4. Soda Springs, Idaho. Cirrus, California. And then into Canada, 4.0 in Masset, Canada, and as well Skagway, Alaska. In Princeton, 2.5 as well. That's Canadian border, most likely mining earthquake there. Aleutian Islands, the Tanaga Volcano, 4.4, most likely an eruption. And then down into the Marianas Trench, 5.1 here in Guam. And then very deep earthquakes overnight, most likely reciprocating the 5.0 and the 5.3 in Costa Rica here, 538 kilometer depth. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. I truly have a love for humanity. And I want everybody to stay as aware and prepared as they can. Largest earthquake last 24 hours, 6.1 South Sandwich Islands, Bristol Islands region. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. As you can see, a lot of the most recent action has been in North America. And Cascades, 
This was the region we've been warning all week. So for those of you who don't know, when we're looking at these rings, if they're elevated from the map, that shows how deep they were. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, overlooking the most latest disasters from around the world. Also watching satellite imagery of the large low pressure system that is affecting Vancouver Island right now. And most likely causing a few of the earthquakes across South, South, uh, South America and Canada. Heavy rains, parts of Panama. 5.3 here, Costa Rica. Running down the list here to see if there's any new volcanoes that have erupted. But we've just got our regulars. And then all of the flood alerts across the United States. And they're going to be receiving even more rain over the next few days with a new low pressure system forming, slowly moving across the states. As well, an interesting low pressure system that is building over Portugal and the Mediterranean. Also going to be keeping an eye on that the coming days. Around the world, it has been super busy. Extreme cold, records being broken, snow records being broken. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, overlooking North America. Large low pressure system coming into British Columbia, as well, a low pressure system forming, moving across southeastern United States going to bring some more rain and cold temperatures across Europe the cool down has begun another low pressure system forming north of Norway extreme cold temperatures starting to invade Siberia and Russia minus 48 degrees Celsius And then watching this large low pressure system in the Pacific Ocean as well. Going to be bringing a lot of moisture to the BC coastline. Madagascar, we've been talking about this for the last couple of days. Watch for heavy rains to develop and continue across the country. South America, heavy daily evaporation rains for the next couple of days, forming a large low pressure system. It will be heading off of South America into the South Sandwich Islands. But looking at this map, there's going to be some heavy rains over the next couple of days throughout parts of Brazil and Paraguay. Friends and family, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.